are solving today, uh, one of the programming challenges in the book starting out of Java. And um, we are in chapter seven. Uh, the first problem is called rainfall uh, class. So we have to create a rainfall class that would calculate the total, the average, and the most and least um, rainfall a city gets. Um, we have to calculate that. Uh, so it's really a simple um, class to create. So uh, let's let's create um, the class. You will say, uh, we will right click the source when you create the, the project, after you create the project, Java class, and I will call it rainfall. And um, uh, we will create uh, three variables, uh, private scanner, uh, scanner class because we want to accept keyboard input for each month um, for the rainfall. And um, also we have to, they, they said we have to use arrays. So I'm choosing to use array list. And um, they said we have to also use uh, double data types. So we'll say array and to, it will take the double and I will call it uh, rainfall array list. And lastly, this is not necessary. You can skip this if you don't want to, but I like uh, to format uh, the output, um, the numbers uh, to have uh, specific numbers um, uh, behind uh, the decimal point. I have to round um, up or down from the number. So the class to use uh, is called decimal format, called DF decimal format. And um, the pattern that we want is, we want to have only two um, decimal point, uh, two uh, numbers uh, behind the decimal point. So we'll say um, number, number, um, decimal number and number. So after we create um, our three variables, we have to calculate uh, the total. We we'll say public uh, double uh, get uh, total uh, rainfall. And um, to calculate the um, rainfall, we'll say double, uh, total, zero. And we we'll use uh, for loop, uh, it will start the first month and it will stop the 12th month. And each time the loop runs, it will iterate. Um, uh, it, it will be incremented by one, I mean. And um, inside the loop, we will say, enter the rainfall uh, for the month of the number, then I, then colon. Then we will say double inches and um, we will say scanner next double. They said we have to uh, validate uh, the number. Uh, no negative uh, rainfall will be allowed. So to do that, we'll say while inches is less than zero, you will uh, show an error message. We we'll say error. Uh, no negative rainfall is allowed. So we'll say inches and we will store it in inches. Scanner next double. After that, we have to store the inches to the total. We'll say total, you will hold 
uh, inches. And also we have to also store it in the, into the rainfall. So you say rainfall, add, add inches. After that, after we create, after we create the for loop, we exit the for loop and we have to return we have to return the, the total. And to format uh, the number, we use um, we use the decimal the decimal the decimal uh, format in this class. But this but the problem is this class this class returns uh, a string, and we want a double, right? This 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 class this method returns a double. So to handle this, we'll say double, uh, parse double. Uh, the method uh, parse double in the class double would convert whatever inside it to a double uh, data type. Um, so we'll say df format then total. Then we have to cal cal calculate. Uh, we have to calculate the average. You will say public double get average uh, rainfall, and the average we start with uh, double uh, total uh, zero. And we say for double, and we say inches, and uh, we'll say rainfall. And each time the loop runs, we want to store it um, to the total. Then after that, we have to return it. Return again. We have to use the double to format uh, the number. We say df format, and we will say total, and we will divide it by twelve because there are twelve months in the year. Then the last two methods are. We have to get the most rainfall and the least rainfall. They are really simple. We say public uh, double get most uh, rainfall, and we will say return collections uh, max. And we, we, we will pass our array, which is rainfall. We have to import this. Then we use, we create the least, uh, get least uh, rainfall. And we will say return collections min uh, rain a rain uh, fall. So we create all four methods that was required. Get, to get total, get average, and get most and least rainfall for the for the year. So we ha so let's uh, let's test uh, our our class. So you'll say uh, main. And um, we'll create a main method, and we will create an instance of the rainfall class that we created. You will say, then we create a title, we'll say rainfall info. 
and we add a new line and uh, also we, add, we we begin with a new line to give a space we'll say total take total uh, rain uh, fall you'll say rainfall uh, get total uh, rainfall and we will just uh, copy and paste multiple times we don't need the new line every time uh, it will be average and it will be most and least rainfall you have to change uh, the methods we get average get most and we say get least so we created all all the four um all the four uh four uh messages so let's let's run the uh, the program As you can see here, here is our title, and here is uh, enter the rainfall for the month number one. It will say 1.1, 2 1.2, 5.1, 1.1, 0.77, 4 4.2, As you can see, the total is 63.87, um, I think. Uh, average average uh, rainfall uh, is 5.32 um, most rainfall is 11.4 and least rainfall is uh, 0.77 so let's check uh, what is the least number the least number is is uh, 0.77 what is the uh, largest number? It is 11.4. So these two check out. And um, how about the average? If we divide, um, if we divide 63.87, divided by 12 um, yes it, I get uh, 5.32 and um, I'm sure if you added up all the numbers from 1 to 12 you will get to 63.8 so I think uh, that would be it for this for this programming challenge rainfall it is chapter seven and it is the first programming challenge in that in the version i have so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time